Hello and welcome. We are going to make caponata today, which is a sweet and sour Sicilian dish featuring an array of vegetables. Eggplant, roasted peppers, celery and onions, fresh basil and parsley, green olives, capers, honey and anchovies, toasted pine nuts, sultana raisins, and a little bit of the acid here, which is the sour vinegar. And of course, this features the Marinelli's hot and spicy Sicilian tomato sauce. To begin with the caponata, we're going to be frying our salted and drained eggplant in our olive oil. We need to add just enough olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan and very, very gently add your salted and drained eggplant until these are nicely golden colored. Don't overcrowd the pan. You may need to do this in two batches. The eggplant will absorb the oil flavor and of course color very nicely. Because these have been salted, they are technically already seasoned. And this will take anywhere between three and five minutes. Just gently keep moving the eggplants around. When they start taking on a bit of color, try to turn them. Now that we had a bit of color here on the eggplant, see they're nicely golden. We're going to gently remove these. Try not to take any excess oil. To a paper towel lined bowl. Got a beautiful golden hue color to the eggplant. Maintained a little bit of integrity of the pieces of the eggplant, obviously. And the salting really helps that. We'll add the remaining eggplant for our second pass. And now that our eggplant is all cooked, we're going to add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to the pan. Temperature is on medium. We're going to add our chopped, coarsely chopped onions. Our celery, which has been cut on the bias. Our anchovy, and we're going to saute this until it's slightly caramelized brown. Now that the onions, anchovy, and celery have slightly caramelized, we're going to add a jar of Marinelli's hot and spicy Sicilian tomato sauce. Gently stir this. This will come to a boil very quickly, is what you're looking for. When that happens, we're then going to add our vinegar, our honey, which is the sweet and sour component, approximately two tablespoons. And gently stir this up. Once this has come back to a boil, we will add our eggplant and let's add the balance of our ingredients. This includes chopped green olives, capers, golden raisins, and some toasted pine nuts approximately two tablespoons. Stir this up till it's well combined. And let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes till the flavors marry very well. Now to finish off the caponata, we're going to add our roasted and sliced sweet bell pepper, our chopped parsley, and our chopped basil. Gently stir this up, turn the temperature down or off. It's a hearty, thick condiment, it's quite versatile. 
So to finish off the crostini of the caponata, we're going to grill thinly sliced baguette slices. While that's toasting, we're going to check our seasoning here for balance of both salt and pepper. So add just a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. Our toasted baguette slices. Our wonderful fresh caponata, which we are going to top each slice with. They smell so wonderful. It looks delectable. Just a little bit of goat cheese. Parmesan would work just as nicely here. Goat cheese obviously is a delectable favorite. Of extra virgin olive oil always makes sense.